Right, so now we're going to tie a fly that I come up with called a shrimp pig, which is I suppose like a pot bellied pig of sorts. And this is a size 9 silver sailor. I'm going to tie the green shrimp pig. Uh, and I'm going to use red thread for this one. So I put a little bit of super glue onto my thread there. And then I'm going to wrap backwards. Now, I'm going to put a butt in here of uh, silver oval. So I'm going to tie that in on top and wrap back to the point where the hook split. And then we're going to wrap that in touch and turns backwards. Now, the display of the hook will help to ride the, the turns of tinsel forward on themselves. So I'm going to catch that in on the top after taking it through the legs. And I'm going to take that forward and then pull it back underneath in between and that will form our rib and it should stop getting lumps here. Now, tail on this one I'm going to use uh, a dyed green boar bristle. So I'm just going to pull out a little bunch of those and then I'm going to place them on. Now again length preference up to yourself. I don't really like bristles to be overly long so what we're going to do is maybe go one and a half hook lengths or something there. And then I've grabbed the bunch, it has a curve to it and I've turned it towards me the curve so then as I take a turn of, of my tie and thread across that it should roll them onto the top of the flight and I can pull them out for length and wrap that backwards separate them out a little bit. Now the boar bristle does not compress so what I'm doing here is I'm cutting I put a bit of a bend into it there and I'm going to cut watch the angle of my scissors so that it cuts them in a little bit of a taper and wrap them forward. Now Take this point just to put a little bit of super glue there and then wrap over that and that and create my tail. You display these out a little bit. Now the body on this one I'm gonna use a uh, sort of a green glister mix. Some of that is light bright basically. And I'm going to apply it up to the body. Take one turn just to catch a few fibers, and then as I twist with my finger and thumb of each hand here, I'll get a nice tight double loop. So I'll wrap backwards to the beginning point. at our body. Okay. So now we're just going to wrap on our silver oval rib. And maybe three, four, well, usually four to five turns is standard for a body. Get it to here. So that it's straight up the shank. And I'm going to fold it back on itself and wrap that on. And I've left a little bit of room at the front here, maybe more than what I usually would, because we're going to have two hackles at the front, a wing, two hackles, and then I'm going to try and create a, a pearl head as well. So, first things first, I'm going to put on. 
an underwing. For this one I'm using a yellow crystal here. I'm going to double it over, lay it on, fold it over on itself again. Then I will have four strands of yellow crystal hair. Now the wing, uh, chartreuse spur, some description you can use fox here. I'm going to use a bit of runner. So I'm going to cut that off. And now in this one I'm more interested in the under fur than the yard hair, so I'm just going to pull the yard hairs out. And I'm not going to adjust that much. I don't want a flat tip on this. So I set that on to come again up to yourself, but I'm going to go so that it extends maybe one, one and a half body lengths. Just check it for length. Transfer my hands. Trim that down. Now I have my dub and needle. I take a little dab of super glue and just right on the very tips of it. And before it dries, apply it up. Take my four strands, pull them tight, place up to the length of the wing, and cut that off. So, take a little bit of glue onto the thread there, and one turn at the rear of it, and that. Squeeze it, we'll set the wing in the position I want. There are two hackles on this one. The first one we're going to put on is uh, a cock pheasant rump feather, and this one's been dyed black. So, don't really want a big pile of this on, so what I'm going to do is strip one side of it and fold the fibers and nip out the tip I'm going to add that on my side and fold it back on itself I'll wax my thread and just create a little base for These can be quite fragile feathers, so just watch when you're winding it. Also quite short, so you're only going to get a turn and a half, maybe two turns out of one. Next I'm going to put on a chartreuse hackle and this time I'm actually going to use a uh, chartreuse badger. I have a nice little bright chartreuse. You could just, if you don't have badger tape, you can just put on a, a straightforward Kelly Green or Highlander Green hackle here. So 
I'm just doubling over this haggle. And then, as usual, nip out the tip, separate forward a few fibres so that you're catching a little bit of stock. I turn to catch the stock in, fold back, and one or two turns just to secure the hackle in. Oh, you see, once I put on a turn, I just set my finger on, and stroke it backwards into position. When I make the turn around my side, I use my thumb to do the same. And then what it's doing is it's rotating the stalk as it's wrapped on. Because no stalks are not round, each one has its own particular shape, oval, some are, some, some are one way, some are the other way, so some things are easy to wrap on and keep level and other things are not. So I'm just taking that forward and now a couple of turns just to tie that off, fold the stock back on itself and tighten in position. And then Nip that off. Now, how does that look? Okay. Now, jungle cock. So, as always, take one from one side, one from the other side. Black cape. And then I'm going to strip off some of the excess fluid. turn across the stock and then I just pull it forward a little bit, set it in position, then we take the one for the opposite side and do the same. Now I was talking earlier about the shape of stalks. Jungle cock is one of those feathers where the stalk will tend to rotate away from the normal way we would want it to lay. So, for that reason, I'm putting a wrap on the stock. See the way it twists itself? And then the idea is that if I pull that through so that then my turn of silk is actually on a little bit that has the fibres on it, that will rotate it back into position. Now, glue on the thread. Then we're going to wrap our head backwards up just to build it up. The glue stops it from sliding off itself. Now uh, you can double those back if you feel like it or just because we're using glue on the thread here. I'm happy enough just to nick off those spare ends. Alright, uh, next thing we're going to try and do a pearl head. Now this doesn't always go to plan. What I'm going to do is take a, a strand of Mirage tinsel here and I'm going to tie it in leaving a good bit sticking out the front. That'll be trimmed off later, don't worry about it. So, now I'm going to take super glue, run it on my thread, and then the idea is to wrap backwards, leaving a sort of wet head, and while it's still wet, then I'm just going to put on a couple of turns of our pearl tinsel. Now it will want to slide. 
that was the idea of the super glue underneath it, that it should hold it in position while you're wrapping it. When we get to the front. I don't want too many turns on my tank silk to finish that head off. Just a couple, and then we trim off as tight as we can our spare ends of the Mirage. in the fly so that I can get all the way around it. And as per usual, when that dries it'll get a coat of clear varnish, good quality clear varnish, Sally Hansen hires nails. There's one fibre I don't like there. To pull it out, and that is a green shrimp pig.